I am Oz. Hi guys, it's me, Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. And in honor of Cameron Diaz's birthday, I would like to discuss another review of her great movies ever. And this one is my, it's, it's been my favorite guilty pleasure movie ever since. Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. Oh my God, I lo absolutely love it. It had more action, more jokes, more skin, and all that jazz, baby. Oh my god. I was so shocked that recast Bosley from Bill Murray to... <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I... Yeah. Back to business. As I was talking about this movie, right? Yeah. I absolutely love it. Oh, it was the best. Yes. Oh. I'm a, I absolutely love everything about it. The act, the cinematography, the the action, the action choreography, the and the cameos. I mean, we have so many cameos in this movie. Movie. Um, uh, who who was in it? Um, Carrie Fisher as as a nun. Oh, um, who else? Oh. Um, Oh yeah, of course. My one of my favorite singers, Pink. Oh my God, I love her. She did a great song, song in this soundtrack, "Feeling Good" with Orbit. Oh, that was a great song ever. Oh yeah, now I know where I left off. I am yeah. I am so amazed that they recast cast Bosley from Bill Murray to the late and great. Bernie Mac. God rest his soul. Oh my God. I miss him so much. I always loved him ever since he was in the Bernie Mac show. And he was in this good movie. Oh my God. He was so much great. Yeah. He was so funny in this one. Oh, but nothing compares to the villainous fan fatale of Mrs. Demi Moore. Oh my god. I'm amazed that that we have a a female villain as a that used to be an angel. Talk about an angel of darkness. Oh my god. I do imagine her having big black wings right now. Uh, but if you call angels of darkness, it that's another word for fallen angels. <laughs> That's what she is. Yes. Oh my god. And I was so shocked that Shia LaBeouf was in it. Oh my god. I didn't know he was in this one um, when I was little. Oh lord. Oh. I, I must say, this, I can see why I love this movie. This movie was had so much surprises. So, for my score for Charlie's Angels, I don't know what I I don't know what I gave for its predecessor, the score, but I definitely give this a 10. Definitely a 10, hands down. This one deserves a 10. Oh, I always I keep waiting, waiting for a third and last movie of this series, but it was probably for the best. Besides, after all, they did make a short TV show on ABC, which didn't air much. And they made a 20, 2019 teen rebooted slash sequel of that movie with the same title. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and stay... and.
I mean, wear a mask. Please wear one. Bye. I need to say it again, yeah. You better suck the sweet talk. And